So in this video, we're going to have a look at the uh, quadriceps group of muscles, which is four muscles found in the anterior uh, proximal leg. So the first one we're looking at is a vastus intermedius, and you can just see us drawing that on now. So all four of these muscles have a common insertion point, which is the tu tibial tuberosity, and you can just see that at the bottom of the screen there. So all four of these muscles go there. So the vastus intermedius is a deep muscle, so it's not really easily palpatable. And its origin is the anterior and lateral surface of the femur. So it starts on the actual femur and then it comes on down into that tibial tuberosity. So that's quite central in the leg. And as I said, it's not really palpatable. It's a deep muscle covered up with the rest of the quads. The next one we're looking at here is vastus lateralis. So this is on the lateral border of the leg and it's the only muscle on that lateral border. It actually goes around and runs in line with the uh, biceps femoris, the, one of the hamstrings on the back of the leg. So that creates that whole side of the leg and comes around and meets with the hamstring. So the origin for vastus lateralis is the greater trochanter the gluteal tuberosity and the lateral lip of linear aspera. And you can just see it being drawn in here and it does really come right round onto those hamstrings and then up into the tibial tuberosity with the rest of the quadricep muscles. The next um, quadricep we're going to look at is vastus uh, medialis. So this is on the medial border of the leg. And the origin for this one is the medial lip of linear aspera on the surface of the femur. So all three of these start on the femur, they cross the knee and go to the tibial tuberosity. So you'll recognise the medialis from the teardrop shape um, part of the muscle you get near the knee. So as I said, all three of these only cross the knee, so they only affect the knee, which is knee extension. So the last muscle we're looking at is rectus femoris. So this one actually crosses two joints. It crosses the hip and the knee. So its origin is on the pelvis, which is the anterior inferior iliac spine. And like the rest of the quadriceps or the vastus group, it comes down to the tibial tuberosity. So all four of these uh, muscles go via the patella tendon into the tibial tuberosity. So the patella actually sits in the tendon of these four muscles. So because rectus femoris covers two joints, it has two actions. One is flexion of the hip and the other is extension of the knee. 